Hi, welcome back. I'm Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, I do food and product reviews. And I'm outside today. It's a nice day. Sorry for the noise. There's noise inside too, so doing my best. So we have the Clever Grip Pro from Bell & Howe. This is a little clip that's to your vent in your car, and it holds your cell phone. Which I was excited when I saw this because I do have a magnet in my car now. But what I don't like about it is that it blocks the flow of air. Uh, not so bad in the summer. Yes, it kind of blocks the air from getting to me, but it keeps my phone cold. But in the winter, uh, when I have the heat on, it makes my phone really hot. So that's what I don't like. So this is supposed to stay out of the way of your vent. So I'm going to attach it to my phone and take it out to the car and see how it works. Not much to it. Here's the little clip. See the back? It's stuck together. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Alright, so this will stick in your vent and then the magnet will stick there. So here is the magnet. Okay, here are the directions. Alright, I'm just going to clean off the back of my phone. I'm going to stick it on the back of the phone. You could put it on your case too, but I would rather stick it on my phone. I'll let that dry. I don't see anything. Here's the magnet. I'm going to pull off the backing. I could make this easier. Get a hold of it. There we go. Press and hold for a few seconds to make sure it adheres. I think this is just a coating on this too. I don't think it's really blue. There. All right, I'm gonna let it sit on here for about 30 minutes before I give it a try. We'll be back. Okay, so it's probably been closer to an hour and a half that I've had this on, so I'm gonna try it in my car and see how it works. So this is what I usually use, but as you can see, it covers half my vent. So with this, I'm really hoping that it won't block as much and like in the winter, it won't get as hot. Like I said, the summer, not, not that big of a deal, but winter, all right, so. Clip, clip it on here. The thing is it kind of hits this part because it kind of comes out. So let's see how this works. Still hitting the vent up here. Um, and it doesn't, I could turn it this way. It doesn't feel real tight on there. I'm going to take the case off and just use the phone and see. That definitely feels much stronger. So I don't know if you're better off putting it on a phone case. Yeah, that's definitely much. Oh geez, much stronger. Oh, this way, that kind of blocks my screen there. Um, all right, let's try. Oh, it came off. Great. Uh, all right, let's try it up here. All right. Let's see how strong. All right. So if I went, kind of. I don't know if I was moving a lot of. Uh, doesn't feel real secure to me. And if your phone was any heavier, I don't know if it would hold it. I don't know. Let's put it over here. It's still it's hitting there. Okay, that's a little better because it's not hitting the vent at all. Oh yeah, that might work. Huh. All right, I'm gonna drive with it like this and see how it does. It seems to be holding pretty well. It's not moving around at all. It does block my screen a little bit. But that's not a big deal. So, so far, so good. All right, so I'm gonna try it up that way. It's just too heavy, you know. Uh, I guess if you want it sitting like that, you're fine, which isn't a bad angle. Um, it's not blocking your vent. I'll see how long it lasts like that. All right, seems to be holding pretty well. It's shaking a little bit, but not too bad. It is getting cold, so it is, you can see, blocking the vent some. So, I don't know. We'll see. All right, this way it holds pretty well, but it's still, if the heat was on, this would be hot because it's cold right now, so. But it's, um strong I will say. Let's see, let's see I pulled it off. 
Okay, so the case is on now, so it's definitely not as strong. So if I pull it off, the clip doesn't come with it. Um, but yeah, so it's still, so if I put it up further, I couldn't put it up too much further and it wouldn't hit the vent, but if I turn it sideways, that's a little better, doesn't it? If you want it this way, it's not going to work as well. So if you go this way, like I said, it doesn't block as much, but it still, still blocks some. And if you have this one, there, it's a little better, but not great. Okay, so I have been using the Clever Grip Pro for a couple days now, and a few things. One, this was kind of my fault. I was hoping that it would do more than it claimed, and that's my fault. I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be great, it's gonna be out of the way, so my phone won't get too hot in the um, winter from the heat and overheat my phone. Uh, but it just says more airflow. It doesn't say it's gonna give you total airflow, so that's my fault when I went into this thinking that it was going to be more than it was. Yes, there is more airflow. In different positions, you have more airflow than others. Um, I guess the issue I have is that with it being directly on the phone case, I just don't know how long it would last. One, just because of the magnet keeps pulling on it. And two, it's like going in and out of my purse or my pocket. Um, this comes off pretty easy. You can just put your nail under there and pop it off. So I don't know how long it would last that way. I prefer it under the case. When I've used this before, I had my magnet under my case, which I said is, it's much, it's just, this is, okay, this is just a stronger magnet, it just is. But this blocks airflow more. You know, it says it works with all car vents and cell phones. I really wish I had another car to try this on. Um, I just don't wanna ask my neighbors right now to borrow their car. Uh, weird time right now. So, so I'm sure it would work on other vents, but I guess a lot depends on the size of your phone, how much it stays out of the way, the position you like it in. Clever Grip did have some other ones out. They had a mat that sat on your dash uh, that held your phone, like a clamp. And then they also had another one that went in your air vent that clamps. I, I picked this one up at Walmart for $9.88. It's not a bad product. It does what it claims. More airflow, yes, and it does stick to the magnet if it's on a case or on your phone directly without a case. So those claims are true. So for that, yes, I have to give it a thumbs up. But for me, I just want a stronger magnet so I could put the magnet under my case instead of on top. But that's, that's, just, that's just me personally. It may work great for you. So if you do decide to try that, just keep your receipt in case your phone is too heavy or it doesn't work right on your vents like you would like. Just save your receipt so you can take it back if if it's not for you. So that brings me to the question of the day. I've had a few people ask um, about my McDonald's cups. I guess they want to know why I have, um, why I always have my McDonald's cup, or even if I'm at Taco Bell or Wendy's. Now, someone even got mad saying I was being disrespectful to Arby's or I don't know, I was somewhere that how could I have a McDonald's cup? That was rude of me. I'm not being paid by these companies, so why is it rude? I don't know few reasons. McDonald's Diet Coke is my favorite. Um, it's close by, so it's not out of my way for me to stop and get one before I go to another restaurant. Uh, and it's a dollar. Any place else, most places you're going to spend for a large drink, you're going to spend close to $2. So why not get it for a dollar? And it's my favorite. So that's why. I drink out of these cups at home too, because you know, that's what I drink most of the time. 98% of the time there is Diet Coke in this cup. I mentioned before that I had been saving these cups. I think I probably have close to 500 cups by now. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it, uh, but maybe I'll find something clever to do with it. So my question for you is, where do you like to get your favorite drink? I think most people probably have a place that they like. Um, so what's yours? Let me know in the comments below. All right, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about hitting that red subscribe and the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And I will see you next time.